Mr. Egghead is the 18th episode of the third season of Full House. This is directed by Bill Foster. And as always, there will be spoilers from now as I talk about things that happen in this episode. I'll go through things pretty much chronologically, but I'll address this, the part with Danny and DJ first of all. But to begin with, the opening is adorable. Danny is letting Michelle leave a, a message for the answering machine message. And it's very, very cute. And to be honest, if I phoned somebody and that was the answering machine message, I'd think it was adorable. Maybe slightly creepy, but mostly adorable. We then learn several things in the next scene and we kind of establish everything at once, which is really well done. We learn that Stephanie has an upcoming class picture. Jessie is helping her out with a Polaroid camera and Michelle does some poses. Very, very cute. We also learn that Danny has received an unfair traffic ticket because a sign was covered by a bush, which I feel is probably a more common thing than it should be. And we also learn that Joey is getting a chance to try out to be the new Mr. Egghead. And I'll come back to Mr. Egghead in a moment. Danny and DJ are practicing what they're going to say when they try and appeal this ticket. DJ looks amazing. She's wearing electric blue. She looks fantastic. She seems to be really in her element here. And I feel like DJ could have a, a really great career as a lawyer. She just seems to have that kind of presence and that way of talking. She's very clear with what she says, very eloquent. And it's just a side of DJ that I really like. It's also really nice to see DJ and Danny bonding one-on-one -on -one because it's not something we see that often. And I really thoroughly enjoyed that. And ultimately, they end up going. It's a bit of a disaster because Danny's car gets into more bother while they're there. It's it's padding for the rest of the narrative, but it's fun. It works well. DJ in the blue, very iconic. The rest of the episode mostly focuses on Mr. Egghead, but it ties in with the class picture. We get to see Joey trying out to be Mr. Egghead. He looks wonderful. The costume is amazing. All of the children in the audience have on little hats that make them look like cracked eggs. Jesse is actually playing the theme, so it was nice to bring Jesse into this and give Jesse more of a role. And we have a lesson about energy. And honestly, it's kind of easy to forget that I'm watching Full House. It was really well done. I felt like I could have been watching an episode of this Mr. Egghead. Very, very impressive. Very well written as well. There were a lot of words that had egg in them, which was very, very fun. And one of the kids asks a really clever question. Joey very quickly moves on from it and he selects a child at random from the audience to help him with a practical exercise. Now, this child is actually Stephanie and Stephanie approaches this lever that has a, a large boxing glove on it and she's meant to pull the boxing glove and it's supposed to demonstrate this movement and unfortunately the lever is stuck so while joey is fiddling with the lever stephanie starts to sing tomorrow from annie not the first time she's broken out into annie and i rather like that as a bit of a habit and unfortunately joey fixes the lever the glove punches and it punches stephanie i did watch this a couple of times to try and work out how they did it because it genuinely the way it's filmed we are slightly at an angle it does look like this glove is thwacking stephanie in the face and i feel like subjecting jody sweeten to that would just be unacceptable from what i can tell she's standing her marker is just slightly behind the glove. So the glove punches out and the angle we are at, it looks like it punches her. But I think she's actually standing behind the boxing glove. Of course, maybe it did hit her in the face and they don't care, but I doubt it. I think she's just standing behind it. But the point there is that her performance, Jodie Sweden's performance, is so brilliant. And the way she acts when she's been knocked to the ground and she goes almost cross-eyed at one point, loved it. Really, really strong performance. Unfortunately, it did break her nose. And she comes in from the hospital with the worst looking splint on her nose ever. They have just folded over a bit of cardboard and stuck it to her face. And then she remembers class picture day coming up. And her solution is to sneak back into the house when everybody thinks she's gone to school. And we have a couple of great Michelle moments here because Stephanie goes into her bedroom and she catches Michelle playing with all of her toys, which I just thought was fantastic. The fact that whenever Stephanie and DJ are out, 
Michelle goes into their bedroom and plays with their toys, which I just thought was adorable. And Michelle's happy to go along with Stephanie's lie, and Stephanie asks her to go and get her something to eat from the kitchen. And we cut to Michelle making a sandwich as best as she can. I want to know how she got the tops off of the jars, because I struggle to get the tops off of, especially like when I tie them tightly, I'm, you don't tie jars, when I twist them tightly, sometimes I can struggle to get the lids off of jars that I've already opened, never mind brand new ones. And nevertheless, Michelle managed to get the tops off of these jars and she's kind of making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but it's a tremendous mess. And she takes it upstairs and Joey goes after her to clean up and Joey kind of, I think, too easily realised that Stephanie was in the cupboard. I think he might have realised something was up because I assume this is the first time that Michelle has made a sandwich for herself after breakfast. But I think it, it seemed too easy because what happens is he goes into the bedroom where Michelle is. Michelle runs out of the room after Comet and Joey walks over to the cupboard and sees Stephanie there, but he knew she was there. There was no element of surprise. He wasn't shocked. Yes, Comet had just been over there, but that wouldn't necessarily just mean that Stephanie is there. So it was my only real point of criticism. I think Joey shouldn't have known Stephanie was there based on the clues that we had. I think it was too convenient, too easy. But other than that, I really enjoyed this part of the episode, particularly what Michelle brought to it. And... It broke my heart a little bit because Stephanie said to Joey that she didn't want to go to school and she said, and I quote, all I did was love you. Honestly, I would have reacted the way Joey did. That would have melted my heart. Absolutely adorable, especially as it's worth remembering. He had just broken her nose on television. So I feel like he was feeling very guilty and that just completely broke him down. And I thought it was absolutely adorable. But of course, she can't just not go to school. And what Joey does, I actually thought was really, really sweet. And I think something I didn't see coming. I could remember this episode relatively well from the last time I watched it, but I couldn't remember everything. I definitely didn't remember the ending. And he takes Stephanie to school. Well, with Jesse, Jesse takes her to school as well. And we learn that Joey had actually gone ahead and given all of the children in the class those glasses that have the they have the nose attached to them so everybody in the class looked goofy and silly and it was it was really sweet and he had a pair for Stephanie as well and she was able to take her class picture and all of the children had these goofy glasses on and then they took a serious picture and Stephanie realized it doesn't matter and she took off the glasses and she had her class picture with her broken nose and it was certainly a really sweet moment and a lovely thing for Joey to do because obviously it wasn't Joey's fault that she broke her nose. I mean, technically he should have made sure she wasn't standing in the way, but it wasn't intentional. This is a really good episode. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I think we have some great performances, particularly from Jodie Sweeten and Mary Kate and Ashley. But of course, everybody gave a really great performance and I love DJ's electric blue outfit looks absolutely fantastic really great episode mr egghead is really fun with some really sweet moving moments as well definitely a brilliant episode